This video brought to you by Gamefly. Go to GameflyOffer.com slash HaloCanon for a 30-day free trial. Stick around to the end for more details. Hey there, Canonites. Welcome back to Halo Cannon. Today we're doing an unboxing for Halo Ground Command. So it finally came in the mail. You can see the cut, uh, the, uh, the box art here. So the way that we're gonna do this is I'm gonna do like kind of a standard unboxing, you know, pull everything out, see what's what, and then, you know, off screen, essentially I'm gonna build the models, come back and show you the finished product. If you wanna just see the finished product, I will put an annotation, uh, let's say up here or something like that. Um, but you know, there'll be an annotation on screen. Uh, there'll be one in the description box down low. So if you don't, you know, if you're on mobile or, or a tablet or something that doesn't allow annotations, what have you. But, so let's, but uh, for now, let's start and take a look. So cover art, first of all, I absolutely love it. Um, I'll admit when I first saw it, like I love the concept, if nothing else, but when I first saw the art, it kind of looked, it didn't look as good as I might've expected, I suppose. It, I don't know exactly how else to say it. Like for good measure, let's compare the cover art of, of uh, Fleet Battles. Very highly detailed. Um, beautiful, beautiful art that really represents what you're getting, uh, really represents the ships well. And when I first saw this, it, it looked like a downgrade, essentially. But, you know, seeing it up close now, seeing it in person, not on an online image, this is beautiful art. I, you know, I love the Spartan versus the, the Zealot. I love the Halo Reach um, concept art in the background. This is beautiful box art. But... It is just box art, so let's get in there. As you can see on the back, you can see basically what you're getting. You're getting all these figures, obviously not painted like this. You're getting a couple bunkers to act as your um, as your uh, objectives uh, for, you know, you can see up here. Uh, let's bring that out a bit. And then you got um, some basic uh, some basic terrain pieces to, to help you along. So there's a lot more here um, in terms of uh, in terms of actual stuff, I guess, <laughs> than, techni in, than technically what you got with ground with uh, fleet battles. Not that that's a bad thing, mind you. Ground command is a different beast, so there's going to be different. It's going to differ in a lot of ways. You can see you get the basic rule, uh, the basic rule book, uh, commander cards. No named characters this time. I'm sad to say, um, but they will. They have told. Um, if you saw my Gen Con video, which I will link on screen now and in the description box. They did say that they have plans uh, to add that kind of stuff later on. A bunch of tokens, which I have some bonuses in that regard. Um, statistic cards and Halo dice, to let these two of which, well, most of this stuff you'll actually recognize if you've played um, Fleet Battles at all. So, with that out of the way, let's actually take a look at what's inside. You know, before we get to the actual box itself, I, I almost forgot about this. These are the bonus figures, the bonus pre-order figures. So, not assembled, obviously, but they're significantly bigger. <laughs> like, oh my God, this is this is fantastic. Just look at the size of this. You'll see it better when the when these are assembled and next to the to the regular figures, but the, the, these are quite sizable. And, uh, so is the Sunheili. Here, yeah, the Marine. It's gonna be interesting. But, uh, yeah. But no, let's get inside the box. Okay. Whew, that is, that is really in there, isn't it? Or was, I should say. All right, so dice. It's very. It's pretty much identical to what you got with fleet battles. Um, say the dice are are they're not, not even basically. They're exactly the same. Fewer commander dice. You only get three this time around for each commander. More six sided dice. Interestingly enough. Let's see. Um, advertising for other stuff. Remember, Spartan Games does more than just Halo. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Hello. So this is your train. So UNSC blocker, UNSC uh, 
um, ammo crate, covenant crate or ammo crate. There's another UNSC, UNSC blocker, blocker, blocker. Okay, so that's all good. Like I said, the, at the very end, you know, once I have everything assembled, I'll show you everything in a much in much better detail. Okay, so. So this, what do we have? Looks like okay. So this is uh, this is the ghost. Our part. These are parts of the ghost. So yeah. Oh wow, there's actually some metal parts in there too. Oh wow, the uh, the fit the bottom fins are are metal. Interesting. Very interesting. I was not expecting that. There goes something. Ah, my metal. My metal's gone. See, so I'm guessing this guy is all cov is probably gonna be all covenant. Oh wow, a lot of these are metal figures. Yeah, holy shit. So hunters, metal. Wow, yeah, oh my god, like everything's metal except for the bases. I was not expecting that. Holy shit. But uh you got heavy grunts. They have the regular configuration, not the heavy grunt from like Halo Reach, which is somewhat surprising considering how much this pulls from Halo Reach, but you know, whatever. Uh, let's see, and then more grunts. Just more grunts. <laughs> this and this is where we're gonna see more like this. So let's see. Uh, yeah, that's more grunts. This one I think is where, yeah, you know, it might be the easiest to see, but this is uh, the, the feed here of the, the Sun Healy. So this is where our Sun Healy commander resides. Okay. No, okay. So that's it for Covenant. Covenant. This is more like, most likely going to be the sea then. I'm guessing it's going to start out just the same with a Warthog, most likely. Let's see. Yep. Warthog wheels. Warthog bo uh, bottom. It's, bungee era, it's the Bungie Arrow Warthog, too, if that wasn't uh, already clear enough. Yeah. And no metal, surprisingly, for the Warthog. So let's see, what do we got this time? So, uh, just basic soldiers, it looks like. I can't tell what this is right here. I don't know, there's some cover perhaps. Find out when I actually build these. Soldiers. Heavy soldiers, it might be hard to see, but this guy's got the, his uh, rocket launcher. My damn camera would focus. Uh, it's gonna be hard to find the spark. Nope, nope, there it is. I think. No, wait. It might be hard to find the actual the Spartan. Nope, there it is. Okay, found it. <laughs> Spartans, I should say. But uh, at the time of release, there's they're like not part of a single team. They're not noble team, though. Um, they could take on the roles of noble team in future campaigns, uh, potentially. Because. They're nameless Spartans, they're not part of a specific team, they're not specific characters, but they could take on Nobility. They could, what I'm hoping is we'll get to see like Gauntlet, Red, and Echo from Halo Reach. If you remember that cutscene from um, from the end of New Alexandria, where they're mentioned. So that's what I'm hoping to see, that like they'll eventually be named. Because in there will be future campaigns that are released separately from this, because in this with this package, Yeah, there's the... Oh my god! <laughs> Shit! This thing comes apart. <laughs> and then surprise, surprise. So there's the bunker. It's actually really high quality. Very nice, like... It's a very nice plastic. So, I'm actually... so I'm not, like, all that surprised, because I expect quality from Spartan Games based on their past work. But this is much more than I expected. <laughs> but anyway, so... The game does not launch with... Um with a campaign. It just comes with a rulebook, which I'll pull out here. There you go. Rulebook. It's just the core rulebook. You know, there are 
Let me see if I can find it. Hold on. His leaning over like that is killing my back. Whew. Um, there are is set, there are like I don't want to call them campaigns or scenarios essentially. Okay, so yeah, so it comes with very basic scenarios. You know, there's like King of the Hill. Uh, there's like this simple assassination one. I don't I don't even know what the, I'm not really. really uh, meat grinder it's called. So very basic stuff. You might recognize this sort of setup if you play fleet battles again. But, yeah. so that's basically what we're launching with. Nothing real special. Um, but, there will be more to come. And, let's see. So, tokens. Reference sheet, this is always very handy. The reason I me and my friend always have our own, so we can always use that. Uh, more tokens, which I said I noted earlier. I actually have something special. Ooh, here you go. Decals for the bunker. Nice. Actually, I'll just grab this quickly. I picked this. I picked this up at Gen Con. So these are like thick plastic uh, tokens, which they actually come with also a phantom and a um, and a pelican token. Just let me see if I can find the alternate one. Yeah, it was the very first thing I showed. So that's what they, you know, that's your that's your stand in token for that shit initially. Um, so I just have like a thicker plastic one, which is very nice. And I'm sure you can order online. I'm pretty sure you can. And then last but not least, I th well, I guess not last but not least, but um, next up, the commander cards. So just Sangheili General. And it shows a Spartan, but your your commander is not a Spartan. Your commander is a sergeant. But it, you know, it works very similar to ground command. You roll your you know your roll your uh, not ground command, similar to fleet battles. You're gonna roll your uh, command dice. They'll give you abilities. Yada yada yada. Now, last but not least, I won't go through each one of these individually, but you know your stacked cards. So. That is everything in the box. Now I'm going to assemble it. And it's going to be a quick cut for you, but for me, this is going to be several hours. All right, so we finally have everything completed, everything built. God, this was a pain, but let's take a look at it. So first uh, we have, we'll take a look at the UNSC bases. So it's a nice mix of, um, uh, what do you call it, resin, resin pieces and uh you know cardboard decals so um very simple i love but it, you know it looks nice it looks very nice at the end of the day and that's that's what you're going for next up the sunghee the sunghee miner again made out of a nice uh resin or plastic um very very nice detail it might be hard to see because my focus absolutely sucks with this camera but Trust me when I say, you can kind of see it, I think. But yeah, looks pretty badass. And then, of course, the Marine. Certainly they went with the Elite. I'm kind of, I kind of wish they'd gone with a Spartan, but the counter the counterpoint to a Spartan, you could say, it might be a Zealot. So either way, basic Marine. Looks very nice. Great detail. Halo Reach style, which is probably my favorite look for the Marines. Yeah. I already showed off the uh, crates and natural boundaries and stuff. Um, let's look at the Warthogs. Now, this is the one thing I haven't completely finished, and that's due to choice. As you can see, <laughs> the turret is not yet glued on. That's because what I want to do eventually, uh, what I want to do is I want to get some earth magnets and replace, you know, the pagan, the little pagan here, so that the turret can not only detach when it's not being used, but can also swivel. Mostly so it can detach, just because. These are these are pewter. This is a pewter figure, as are most of these things, which means it's bone prone. Sorry, <laughs> it's bone to it. No, it is prone to bending and malformation, which a lot of these I actually had to straighten out, which is one thing I don't like about pewter figures. Uh, we got three varieties of Spartan. Oh, yeah, I can only grab two. <laughs> but th yeah, so three varieties of Spartan. Uh, it might be hard to see, but this one's got a Spartan laser. This one's just got your basic AR. It might not come through, but you can kind of see the, uh, the what do you call it? The barrel here is kind of limp. Talking about, again, my dislike of pewter figures. I, I really wish they could have gone with plastic. I don't know if it's a like cost thing or if it's just 
not a good idea at this scale. I have a little trouble believing that, but if that's what they if that's what they were to say, I would believe them. And anyway, uh, last but not least, rocket launcher. Next up, you got some nice machine turrets. Really nice detail in there. These were kind of these were a real pain, one of the bigger pains. Just the turret itself they actually set up real nice. It's just connecting the uh, marine to their turret was the pain. Uh, then you got marine heavy units with rocket launchers. And there's actually a few, a couple styles to uh, your basic marine units. So this first one, uh, two with ARs and then one, it's going to be a little hard to see, but hope maybe if I'm lucky the detail might come through. Uh, he's got the pro pipe or the uh, grenade launcher. Second marine unit, again, two ARs and then a shotgun. And last but not least on the UNSC side, this is your commander base. So um, you have two base, two Marines, you got a small, one with small arms, one a radio operator. Let's turn it on the back there so you can see the, hopefully see the radio operation bit. And then UNSC uh, Sergeant leading the, leading the squad. Next, let's take a look at the Covenant. So Covenant Ghost. I like that this one is entirely plastic. Um, I did have some trouble getting it into the base, but you know what? It worked out real nice in the end. Almost entirely, I'm sorry. Uh, the bottom here, the... I don't even know what you'd call these. The booster modules, perhaps, are pewter, but other than that, I love it. Next up, we have the Hunter here. It's got a few parts. You can kind of see where the joints are. These were a real pain to, to put together. You can see that there's a big gaping hole in the... <laughs> In the shoulder there just because um, the hole that the pin's supposed to go through and this particular arm was uh, well there was no hole so I cut off the pin as much as I could and just you know, did the best I could with what I had and there's actually two uh, hunter forms too which I actually I really do like it though um, so you can see you had the one before which was uh, which was charging a shot and you have another one ready to charge at you <laughs> Ooh, thunder outside. So next up we have uh, Grunt Heavy Units. You know, just uh, packing their uh, fuel rod guns. And you have uh, three Grunt Units uh, per, uh, three Grunt things, units per squad or whatever. Whereas the Marines are often coming four, at least uh, for the basic units. The heavies come in two, the heavy, uh, the rocket launchers come in two as well as the turrets, so anyway. Uh, let's see what's next. Oh yes, um, Marine uh, Grunts led by Sangheili. Now these ones have uh, again the come in threes. Now there's actually a pretty cool bit of variety here. So you can see a couple Grunts, you know, cheering on the elite charging. If I go this guy. Different uh, different Grunt position uh, positions or whatever, and the elite is standing like in a you know standing at the ready. So that's actually pretty cool. I do love the appreciate the uh, variety of poses, even if that makes gluing them into place kind of a pain. Anyway, basic grunt unit. So it's just three grunts. And again, it comes in a couple of varieties. So there was that one, and then there's this one. And last but not least, the Covenant Command Unit. So you have a basic, uh, basic uh, <laughs> Sangheili here, and a Sangheili Zealot over here wielding an energy sword. And it's got some pretty damn good detail. I almost forgot. <laughs> these were the last things I want to show you. Um, these tokens I picked up at Gen Con. So these are nice plastic tokens as opposed to the cardboard ones you can actually get with the game. So yeah, um, activation tokens. This lets you know that a unit has activated that turn or moved that turn, whatever they did. Fire or damage tokens, I think I believe. Um, vulnerable tokens, which means uh, I actually don't remember what <laughs> what the vulnerable rule is right now. Um, as it's, it's like harder to defend against an attack. Um, I don't know exactly what these are used for. It's kind of hard to see, but um, hold on. 
So it's hard to see on the actual, on the plastic ones, but uh, here you can kind of see the different, they're for the drop, they're for the drop ships. I don't know exactly which ones mean what, but yeah. And last but not least, the drop ships, drop ship silhouettes. So Pelican and uh, Phantom. Eventually I want to get the actual sets, but yeah, these are what you get to start. Well. These are what you get to start. I have these. So that is Halo Ground Command. It is. It has definitely been worth the wait. I really can't wait to play this with my friends. Uh, the demo I did at Gen Con, I, as I said in that video, was fantastic. Um, I will say though, I'm not a fan of the heavy use of pewter. If that hasn't been made clear yet, I would have much preferred pure plastic figures again I don't know if it's like they're no it's a scale thing like they're too small for plastic to be reliable but my own wargaming experience had would I would have trouble believing that so I don't know what what the actual what was behind the decision to go with pewter but I am not a fan of pewter it just it deforms too much it's unreliable in in my opinion I am not a big fan of the of it um, no offense to Spartan Games, of course. This is just something in general. I, you know, I've come, I've come to feel over time. So, but still, I am glad with this purchase. I'm very happy I got it. So, yeah. Now, before we go today, if you followed me on Twitter, you may have noticed when I posted my first image uh, saying that I got these figures and I was getting ready to unbox them and whatnot. That. I actually had two, two sets. So here's one set here. Here's the second set. Now, there's a reason I have two sets. Because I really wanted both figures. <laughs> but also, but it also allows me to give one of these away. That's right. So this video ends with a giveaway. If you want to win your own copy of Halo Ground Command, all you got to do is leave a comment in the description box, a <laughs> comment below, and it can be any sort of comment. Just be sure to tag it with ground command, with ground command, you know, as a hashtag, or just put it in, put it in there. So make a big long ass post if you want, just, you know, at the very end, put ground command so that I know that's what you, that you're interested in getting this guy. Cause, and uh, you know, it'll probably be like a couple weeks or something before I announce the winner since I'm leaving for PAX in a few days. But, uh, when I do pick a winner, I will make an announcement video and then contact that person or have that person contact me over YouTube or whatever, whatever it is. Yeah, we'll fi I'll figure it out. But I'll pick a winner and I will ship this out to you as soon as I can. So if you wanted it but couldn't afford it, again, just leave a comment below. Put ground command at the very end of your at the very end of your comment or that can be the entire comment. You can just say ground command and that's it. Just so I know that, that you're commenting to win to uh, to win this specifically. But thank you guys. So that's everything today. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this at least enough, you know, somewhat. And uh, yeah, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. This has been Halo Cannon. Peace out, bitches. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'll just I'll, I'll see myself. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give a like and consider subscribing and sharing this video around. Also consider checking out Gamefly with over 8,000 new releases and classic games for current and previous gen consoles and even some older consoles. Gamefly is a great way to try tons of games without buying them. Go to GameflyOffer.com slash Halo to start your 30 day free trial.